Everybody's got a soundtrack to their lives, and mine, I just kind of wanted to be drum and bass. And its roots come directly from hardcore. At the time, it wasn't even jungle. Back then, it was called breakbeat hardcore. And I had never heard anything with that kind of energy before. Because the junglist culture is very simple. It's just all about respect. If you love it and you like it, you're a junglist. What up? This is Criteria. Dan from Nero. Hey, this is Diesel Boy. DJ Fury. DJ DMX. Zenzi 17. I'm Mystical Influence. This is DJ Hype. Representing American Jungle. And you're watching American Jungle. The UK scene's obviously a lot stronger. It's the birth, birthplace of drum and bass. In the United States of America, it's still going in its adolescent phase. Use of a jungle drummer bass. Daddy Earl DJ High. Respect. Hey, what's up? This is Phonetic. We're representing American Jungle in Knoxville, Tennessee tonight. Just trying to get jungle to the people here, man. It's really strong. It's a small scene, but it's a really close scene with some really dedicated individuals. <laughs> We're sitting here in Knoxville, Tennessee. This is Micah, aka DJ Macabre. This is Brad T. And we are the Bass Disciples. Yeah, this is Dan from Nero. Uh, we are at Red Rocks in Colorado. Just played uh, absolutely amazing. 15 years I've always said if I ever had to move to the United States, I'd move to Denver. Denver has, I mean, per capita, just a much bigger music scene than a lot of other cities this size. What you wanna do? turning point in Denver really was just like pushing it down their throat as much as we could really. I was working with Jason pretty closely so he would go out of his way to make sure that he booked a, you know, a jungle DJ on his bill along with DJ Dan or whoever it was back then. New York's always kind of had a constant uh, scene. LA, obviously. In different eras, I look at like the Bass Rush events in LA. Probably 92, 93 would sort of be the beginnings of it in Toronto. I'd give all the credit in the world to Cyrus and Life Force and those guys up in Toronto who, who really pushed it and brought it to North America really early on. popped up all over random places in cities that you'd never think they, they would have a clue what electronic music is, but you know, it's, it's spread around. <laughs> 